Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dr. Ivo and welcome back to the Minecraft Survival World and in today's episode we're going to be talking about a little something different today. But as you can see the glow squid farm down below, we AFK'd for about an hour and I want to see how much we made. Probably like at least 17 stacks at least. Probably even more but I don't even know. Oh, that's a lot. Wow. It's a lot of glow ink. So I mean, this farm is really, really working 100% of the time. So, yeah, that's great. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot that happens. <laughs> it's totally fine. I forgot that happens. Totally forgot, but it's... I'll make mistakes. So, yeah, we're going to be talking about a little bit something different in today's episode. So yeah, uh, we're going to talk about Suspicious Stew and its effects that apply to it. So we're going to need a couple things before we get into that. I think I have in this chest, yeah, mushrooms. We're going to need mushrooms for this. And we're also going to need some bowls, which I already have right here. And yeah, it's pretty much that. So we're going to need to grow these mushrooms. Now, mushrooms are a little bit complicated to grow. Mushrooms grow very differently from many other crops in the game. See, if you plant it on grass, which you can't because it has to be nighttime because it's light level 15 or higher. So you can't plant it on grass, but only if it's nighttime. But you can plant it on Podzol right here, Mycelium, or Nylium from the Nether. So you just place it like this. Well, I'll place it further away from the lamp post. And then you can bone meal it because Podzel will give it Podzel you can plant it at any light level. So see just like that. And we're gonna pull out the axe, diamond axe, because mine has silk touch, it would just give us the blocks. So yeah. Just use the uh I just use a normal diamond axe to break my mushroom. Just like this. So this is just the brown mushroom. I also have the red one, the red mushroom. Right here, it grows pretty much the same, but the formation is a little bit different. See, that took that one took a lot more bone meal than I expected to take, but it's fine. So yeah, there's the red mushroom. We're gonna grow a couple of these, or uh, I think that could be it, or maybe just a little more. Maybe one more brown mushroom will, will do the trick. So yeah, we got mushrooms right here, and we got bowls. Now we need is flowers. We already got one right here. We already got dandelions, which is one of the flowers. Uh, oxide daisies. And I don't know if I have any other. A blue orchid. Yes, that's one of them. Another oxide daisy. Uh, I don't know if a poppy could do anything, but maybe we'll check it out. And there's a couple more flowers that we had to get from another biome that we would go venture out to right now. Well, as you can see right here, we have a flower forest not too far from home. And this is a great place to set up a flower farm because, whoa, this place is beautiful. All right, so, yeah, there's a lot of different types of flowers we can get from here. And corn flower is one of them. It's one of the things. Lily of the Valley, yes, right there. Oh, it gives you white dye. I thought it gives you, like, white gray. I think that was the oxide daisy that would give you it. Any tulip. Any kind of tulip. Um, alliums like right there, and I don't know what else do we need. And I sure blew it, whatever. Yeah, I don't know how you pronounce it, it's kind of like some different language, but yeah, it's pretty much that. And yeah, I think we're just gonna go back home and make spish stew. All right, so. We're gonna make some suspicious stew. So it's basically it's just like regular mushroom stew. It's just red mushroom, brown mushroom, boom. Normal mushroom stew. But if you add a flower, let's just add allium. It gives us suspicious stew. So this is the allium one. And alliums, you mix an allium with suspicious stew. I think you get fire resistance, right? Yeah, fire resistance, which is nice. Four seconds of fire resistance. That's pretty much that. And here's the next stew, which is mixed with the Azure Blue Lay. And this one is a negative status effect. Uh, where's the blue? There it is. This one's negative. 
as you will see this is the only way to get this status effect you get blindness basically blind it's the opposite of the night night vision you're blind for eight seconds then boom your vision's back <laughs> so also make this again dandelion or blue orchid this will give you saturation you better look closely in the top right corner because it's going to be right there and it's going to go away as quick as a second so as you can see yep it was right there for a quick second and then we're going to mix it again but blue orchid is the same thing so you better watch the top right corner go closely yep there it goes it's gone just like that <laughs> So that was saturation. It basically decreases your needs of eating. So yeah. Um, also, let's make another one. And we're going to do this with the cornflower. The cornflower will give you... I think jumping, right? Jumping, yeah. Gives you a leap effect. Like the rabbits right here. Jumping over the rabbits. <laughs> Alright, and next one is a negative status effect which is lily of the valley right here this will give you poison i assume yep for 12 seconds there uh, i'm poisoned for now <laughs> it's totally fine it's not gonna hurt me i think i have protection so yeah it's not gonna do much to me all right oxide daisy is next I think the Oxide Daisy will give you regeneration, if I'm right. So I tried these before. Yeah, regeneration. Nice. For 8 seconds. So that's great. There's the... There's that. With a Poppy, it will give you... Whoa. Whoa, a Poppy will give you night vision, I'm supposing. So I'm gonna just look at my Axolotl right here. Whatever, I don't know. Just look at something dark or whatever. Maybe right down here. Yeah. So yeah, night vision right here for about four seconds, which isn't that great. So yeah. It'd be better if you made a night vision potion. And tulips. Tulips will give you um not the greatest. Tulips will give you weakness, which is not good. So yeah, it makes us a little more weak. You know what? I'm totally fine with it. <laughs> you sue it. Alright. There. So that's pretty much all the status effects, except there is one more, but it requires a Wither Rose, which we have to fight the Wither, and which we have not done yet in this series. So yeah, we will fight the Wither sometime in the series, but not right now. I will show you guys one thing I was doing off camera. Which is, I was clearing up this birch forest so I can make my road go all the way down. And I made it turn right here and I made it turn right there. Just clearing out the birch forest and then into the plains bottom where I'm going to make a little town over here. Which is nice, there's plenty of land to do it on. And yeah, I'm still in the process of clearing everything, making the roads. So yeah, that's pretty much pretty much in progress. And yeah, that's pretty much all that I could talk about right now. Oh look, my calcite has growth. Or not calcite. I think it's slagomite or something. Yeah, it's finally grown. It's dripping. I think you can silk touch it, right? Give my silk touch pickaxe. Yeah, okay, that's so that's basically infinite dripstone. Or point to dripstone. Then the lava farm's working great. I haven't checked on the honey farm yet. This one's doing great. Yep, that one's doing good. Especially this one. I think I had to refill on the honey um the bottles because I think the dispensers are getting empty. Yeah, they're getting empty, so I had to refill them every once in a while so that that won't happen. So yeah, we're just gonna refill these. Fortunately, this is going to be the end of the episode. Sorry, I had to cut it short. I didn't really was planning anything else today, but besides showing Suspicious Stew and its effects. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe if you want more Minecraft content. And hit the bell on the way out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.